In this video, we'll discuss what the judgment card means when it appears in a reading, the symbolism of the card, the meaning of judgment when it is upright and reversed, including some examples from my life, and at the end, I'll provide you with some questions to help you better connect with the judgment card. So let's get started. I'll be honest. This is the most difficult card in the Major Arcana for me to understand. The name is confusing, and in my opinion, so is the symbolism. This card is more about awakening and significant choices than it is about judgment. It's also more about how you judge yourself and others than it is about being judged before God. On the top half of the card, we see what people believe is the Angel Gabriel on Judgment Day, although some people think that it's a combination of the Archangel Gabriel and the Archangel Michael, who we saw in the Temperance card. The scene was described by the Apostle Paul in the Bible. He believed that the souls of men would be awakened by the trumpet call of an archangel so they could be judged before God. Thus the card is called Judgment. The angel has golden hair and red wings and is on top of clouds. He is blowing a trumpet and waking the dead. There is a white flag with a red cross attached to the trumpet. The sky is blue. At the bottom of the card, we see six gray, naked figures who are rising out of open coffins and looking towards the sky. There is a river between them. There are mountains in the background. This card tells us that something, like the blowing of a trumpet, has happened in your life that has reawakened you. Basically, this card represents a wake-up call. This card signifies that you are being judged based on decisions that you made in the past. Judgment could also mean that an important part of your life is ending. So let's talk about the symbols in the Judgment card. On the top half of the card, we see the angel Gabriel. In the Bible, Gabriel blew his trumpet to announce Judgment Day. His golden hair represents spirituality. Like temperance, the red wings are so expansive that they go beyond the borders of the card. This represents there are no limits to his protection and power. He is blowing a trumpet that is used to bring the dead back to life. As you can see in the figures on the card, it is working. There is a white flag with a red cross attached to the trumpet. This is a symbol of victory over death. It can also represent being at a crossroads. The sky is blue. This represents the realm of the divine. At the bottom of the card, we see six gray, naked figures that are no longer trapped in their coffins. At the center is the child we just saw in the sun card. She has now moved from her experience of victory and consciousness in the garden and is being reawakened and judged by spirit. In this card we see heaven and earth united as the angels' actions cause the people to rise from their graves. All six people are rising out of open coffins and looking towards the sky. They are naked and gray in color. The nakedness shows that nothing is hidden. This gray color shows neutrality and signifies that there is no difference between them. They will all be judged the same way. The river between the six figures represents the journey of the souls. In the background, we see the same mountain range that we saw in the Fool card. The mountains look high and snow-capped and impenetrable, which symbolizes how difficult it is to avoid judgment. On a more positive note, as we only have one more card left in the Major Arcana, the mountains could also symbolize coming to the end of your journey and that there will be no more obstacles in your way. When the judgment card appears in an upright position, it can be a card about awakening. It can mean that you are at a crossroads, it is time to do some self-reflection, and it might be time to make a life-changing decision. It can also represent renewal. A new life has opened up to you. You are starting a new phase of your life. A new day is dawning, it's time for a fresh start. And you have learned your lessons and reached your potential. The trumpet is calling the people to do something. For this reason, the card signifies that you are on a journey to discover your true calling, or it's time to start following your calling. It could represent how you judge other people. Perhaps you are blaming people for things that they have not done. Or you could be judging them too harshly or unfairly. It might mean that you need to reflect on how your actions have impacted other people. It could mean that a legal matter for you has been resolved, that past choices are catching up with you, that you are in the final stages of a journey. 
It could mean that it's time to get honest and tell the truth. Don't let shame or embarrassment hold you back. And it could represent healing from an injury or illness. Finally, it could also refer to karma or reincarnation. Here's an example of the upright card from my life. My daughter and I both love to sew, and we've been watching past seasons of Project Runway, which is a reality TV show starring Heidi Klum and Tim Gunn. On the show, contestants go through a series of fashion design challenges each week, and the winners get to create and show their collections in New York City during Fashion Week. In Season 8, contestants have to design fabric based on a pivotal event in their lives. One of the contestants, Mondo Guerra, creates a fabric that contains plus signs. During the course of the episode, he reveals something he hadn't told anyone, including his ultra-religious family, that the fabric represented the fact that he'd been HIV positive for more than 10 years. It was very emotional, but afterwards he said he felt free. It was a true example of a transformation. When the Jesuit card appears in the reversed position in a reading, it can indicate that you have retreated back into your own limitations. Perhaps it's time for some self-reflection, or you are experiencing shame, self-doubt, or difficulty making decisions. It could mean that you are stuck or feel like you are stagnating, you are clinging to the past, maybe you are judging yourself too harshly, it might mean that you are letting fear hold you back. The judgment card reversed could indicate that it is time for you to compromise. Perhaps you are blaming someone unfairly, or you are not heeding the call to change your life, or you are ignoring your calling. And finally, you have not learned from past experiences. So here's an example of the judgment card reversed in my life. Creating a business reading tarot cards is an example of accepting my calling. I have decades of experience as a self-employed writer, and although I've been interested in tarot for more than 15 years, I only got serious about it about 18 months ago. I'm not embarrassed that I am obsessed with tarot, but it is something that most people don't understand. I grew up in a very religious family, and prior to 15 years ago, I believed the myth that tarot was evil and akin to worshipping Satan. Of course, this is not true. So even though I've heeded the call to make this my new career, I find it easier to tell people I'm a writer and avoid the questions and judgment. As I've been making this video, I realize that it's time for me to change that and not let the fear of being judged hold me back. So here are some questions that you can answer to help you connect with the judgment card. Number one, have you accepted your calling? Number two, are you ready to take a new direction in your life? Number three, are you in a self-imposed prison? What old attitudes, beliefs, or ideas do you need to be liberated from? Number four, do you need to forgive someone? Do you need to ask for forgiveness? And number five, could you benefit from withholding judgment? So I'd love for you to post your answers in the comments below this video. And please join me for the next card, which is the final card in the Major Arcana, The World.